Hi, this is Gerald Salenti. It's Tuesday, July 12th, 2016. And here are some of today's trends in the news. Big day in the markets. Starting over there in Asia. Another good day for the Nikkei. Yes, yes, yes. You remember what happened on Monday. It was way up following Sunday's vote of more Abenomics coming in. That's right. So Nikkei up, Shanghai up. Hang Sang up over there in Europe. CAC up. FTSE down. DAX up. Over here in the States. Woof. Up. Oil. Up. Gold down. Remember what I've been saying about gold. Again, I do not give financial advice. I said there's going to be a sell-off. And I believe it's going to be a sizable sell-off. It has the potential to be. And after this big sell-off, I think it's the beginning of the next gold bull run. But that's only the way I see it. So what happened here? U.S. stocks closed higher Tuesday as fears eased over Brexit and Japan signaled more economic stimulus. The S&P moves higher in record territory, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed at a new all-time high. NASDAQ rose, now closing in positive territory for 2016. So it's been down all this time, first six months. Meanwhile, in Japan, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe ordered new stimulus after his coalition won an election in Japan's upper chamber by a landslide on Sunday. Trend alert! Trend alert! That's right. It's a day early, and there's a reason for it, because this is important. It's not Abenomics, folks. It's Ponzenomics, and central banks to crash the markets. That's your trend alert. History before it happens. This is one big scam. The markets are going up, they're telling us, because of more stimulus, which means that, and continued low interest rates, which means that they'll be able to keep rigging the markets and have the gamblers gambling. U.S. oil settles up 4.56% after two-month lows because their anticipation of data later on Tuesday would show an eighth straight week of declines in U.S. crude stockpiles, and that also boosted the markets. But that was the news before the numbers actually came out. And you know what the numbers say? Well, guess what? Oil falls as supply says API data show U.S. crude supply up 2.2 million barrels. Oil futures fell in electronic trading Tuesday after the American Petroleum Institute reported that U.S. crude supplies unexpectedly rose by 2.2 million barrels for the week, ending July 8th. Now remember, oil went up on the anticipation that supplies would go down. So again, this is all manipulated. It's just playing the markets. We stick with our forecast. Oil between the $30 and $50 range. Too much supply, not enough demand. And gold slips more as stocks rally. Gold fell for the second straight day on Tuesday as global equities rallied on easing political uncertainty in Britain and hopes for more economic stimulus. Go back to your trend alert. This is not capitalism. There's no true price discovery anymore. The whole thing is rigged. Because when you look at the real world, things aren't so rosy out there. Boom wanes in aircraft orders. Boeing, Airbus face slowdown in deals as economies weaken. Global economies are weakening. Aircraft deals at the start of this year have been slow as weakening economies and geopolitical woes from Latin America to the Middle East have caused bookings to dry up.
And you know how I keep saying, it rots from the head down. Whether it's the military mindset of immorality brought to you by your commanders in chief, prime ministers and chancellors that go around the world slaughtering millions of people to carry out their sick mind dreams. And then you wonder why you have a militarization within your nation, why they're watching everything that you do. People are going over the edge and they're killing as well. If you could kill from the top, you could kill at the bottom. Morality doesn't count. So the fish doesn't only rot from the head down from immorality, it rots in a lot of other ways. And as your trend alerts and trends in the news and trends journals have been pointing out, on the economic front, it's rotting from the head down as well. A falling market for trophy homes in the sky. New York City, ultra-luxury real estate frenzy with its sky-piercing condominium towers and $100 million price tags has finally come to an end. Today, a four-year construction boom aimed at buyers willing to spend $10 million or more has flooded the top of the market just as global market turmoil has called, caused wealthy investors, gamblers, they're not building anything. It's all the money is being made by gambling and the markets are going up because of more stimulus. They're not creating jobs. They're creating wealth for the 1%. And again, I'm not throwing that line around loose. You know the numbers. 62 people in the world have more dough than half the world's population. And in the USSA, since Obama came in, 1% of the population since 2009 has gained all the wealth. 95% of the wealth, excuse me, for 1%. So there you go. Because it keeps getting better. Burberry overhaul sees Bailey replaced as chief after two years of falling shares. Remember, Burberry is a Luxury market. Burberry has replaced Chief Executive Christopher Bailey as part of a sweeping overhaul of top management at the British Luxury Fashion House after two years of poor financial performance. And a lot of the sales, 40% of the sales of higher proportion than rivals, is sold in China, and there's a slowdown there. Tourism to Hong Kong is also a slowdown in China. That 40% number is a big one, though, because it's not only in luxury. When the Chinese are buying, they're buying more than Burberry. They're buying oil. They're buying coal. They're buying iron ore and copper, 40% plus. So you're seeing the whole decline. But in the United States over here, they're taking care of the little people in Slavelandia. Starbucks to boost wages in U.S. The saddle-based coffee chain said on Monday that effective October 3rd, employees in its company-operated stores will receive an increase in base pay of more than 5% or more. Yeah, great. You call these guys like baristas? Yeah, when I was a kid... We were soda jerks making soda. These poor people having these jobs in these chains. That's all they are. They're glorified soda jerks. They can't find other jobs and they take them because they're getting some benefits. Because all the wealth is concentrated in the hands of a few. The facts are right here. The company operates 7,600 stores. 7,600 other individuals that could be entrepreneurs because Starbucks also had the routine of opening up many stores near other successful coffee shops and putting them out of business. But they gave them a raise. Whoopie do. And also the news is that new prime minister over there in the UK 
May to make Brexit a success as UK's first female PM in 26 years. You know, she may be able to do it. She wants to make it a success. And she has a quote here. When the Brexit vote was going on. She said, Britain is big enough and strong enough to be a success story in or out of the EU. I agree, because it's one of our top trends for 2016, self-sustainability. So, let's see what she comes up with, and the Brexit's going through. And then here in the States, of course, you know what the big news is? Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders, yeah. Free education, free health care, you buy one knish, you get another free. Well, that's right. B.S. Sanders sold out. Sanders endorses Clinton. She is best candidate to address crisis we face. And he goes on to talk. Together we have begun a political revolution to transform America. And that revolution continues. Together, we continue to fight to create a government which represents all of us, not just the 1%. A government based on the principles of economic, social, racial, and environmental justice. Secretary Clinton has won the Democratic nominating process, and I congratulate her for that. She will be the Democratic nominee for president, and I intend to do everything I can to make certain she will be the next president of the United States. Revolution, <laughs> you know what that is. Oh, come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit. That's right. And that's all BS Bernie's been blowing out since he hit the stage and delivered nothing. And from the reports coming out, his supporters aren't too happy about it. I've come here today not to talk about the past, but to focus on the future. Why can't you talk about the past? Why can't you talk about why you were running and how you were against her? Because you're a sellout, just like Obama. Yeah, you remember, or you forgot. When people wanted to talk about bringing George Bush up on war crime for his invading Iraq based on lies, he said, that was in the past. This is going to be a net plus for Clinton. Although there's discontent right now, he'll sucker in the millennials and the others that voted for his lies. Because you know what the line's going to be. Hitler is better than Hitler. Yep, this campaign is not really about Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump or Bernie Sanders or any other candidate who sought the presidency. This campaign is about the needs of the American people and addressing the very serious crisis we face. And there is no doubt in my mind that as we head into November, Hillary Clinton is far away the best candidate to do that. No doubt in your mind? What mind? Hillary Clinton? Look at their track record. Bernie? Yeah. Bernie's sucking his way up to go somewhere if Clinton wins. End of story. All they have is a track record of failure. And Bernie was a nobody before sucking off the public tit for 40 years. The guy never had a job. Other than maybe selling conditions in Coney Island, you buy one, you get another one free. To you, Bernie, bullshitter, nothing you've accomplished other than a lot of hot air. And now you sold out the people that believed in you. Yep. It's no secret that Hillary Clinton and I have disagreed on a number of issues. That's what democracy is about. No, it's not. That's not what democracy is about. This country doesn't have a clue about democracy because we have the bloods and the crips running the country. Or as you folks like to call them, Republicans and Democrats with more blood on their hands, more murder 
than we've seen since World War II. Oh, it's got the Vietnam War. And robbing us of our money with your too big to fail, tax breaks, loan guarantees, stimulus and quantitative easing programs that you've foisted on us. Not a democracy. It's neo-feudalism. Different set of rules for the economic elite and the political nobility. Just like they gave Hitler a free ride with the FBI, and that's out of the news. Bernie is now officially part of the rigged system, selling out, Donald Trump said, it's like Occupy Wall Street endorsing Goldman Sachs. Yeah, that's exactly what it's like. Hey, it's America. This is what this country's devolved into. Look what we have. Trump. Trump. Candidate was Clinton fan in 2008. Big story here in the Wall Street Journal about all the things, the positive things Trump said about Hillary Clinton and other things he said. In one segment, Mr. Trump advised men to do more chores around the house because psychological research showed they would get more sex from their wives. This is who we have running for president. Hey, maybe that's some of the guys, but not the guys that like making whoopee. Here, listen, this is Gerald Salenti, and that's some of today's trends in the news. Hi, this is Gerald Salenti. It's Tuesday, July 12th, 2016, and here are some of today's trends in the news. Big day in the markets, starting over there in Asia. Another good day for the Nikkei. Yes, yes, yes. You remember what happened on Monday. It was way up following Sunday's vote of more Abenomics coming in. That's right. So Nikkei up, Shanghai up, Hang Sang up. Over there in Europe, CAC up, FTSE down, DAX up. Over here in the States, woof. Oil up, gold down. Remember what I've been saying about gold. Again, I do not give financial advice. I said there's going to be a sell-off. And I believe it's going to be a sizable sell-off. It has the potential to be. And after this big straight day on Tuesday, as global equities rallied on easing political uncertainty in Britain and hopes for more economic stimulus. Go back to your trend alert. This is not capitalism. There's no true price discovery anymore. The whole thing is rigged. Because when you look at the real world, things aren't so rosy out there. Boom wanes in aircraft orders. Boeing, Airbus face slowdown in deals as economies weaken. Global economies are weakening. Aircraft deals at the start of this year have been slow as weakening economies and geopolitical woes from Latin America to the Middle East have caused bookings to dry up. And you know how I keep saying it. That's right. It's a day early and there's a reason for it because this is important. It's not Abenomics, folks. It's Ponzanomics and central banks to crash the markets. That's your trend alert. History before it happens. This is one big scam. The markets are going up. They're telling us because of more stimulus, which means that, and continued low interest rates, which means that they'll be able to keep rigging the markets and have the gamblers gambling. U.S. oil settles up 4.56% after two-month lows because their anticipation of data later on Tuesday would show an eighth straight week of declines 
in U.S. crude stockpiles, and that also boosted the markets. But that was the news before the numbers actually came out. And you know what the numbers say? Well, guess what? Oil falls, as supply says, API data show U.S. crude supply up 2.2 million barrels. Oil futures fell in electronic trading Tuesday after the American Petroleum Institute reported that U.S. crude supplies unexpectedly rose by 2.2 million barrels for the week ending July 8th. Now remember, oil went up on the anticipation that supplies would go down. So again, this is all manipulated. It's just playing the markets. We stick with our forecast. Oil between the $30 and $50 range. Too much supply, not enough demand. And gold slips more as stocks rally. Gold fell for the second sell-off. I think it's the beginning of the next gold bull run. But that's only the way I see it. So what happened here? U.S. stocks closed higher Tuesday as fears eased over Brexit and Japan signaled more economic stimulus. The S&P moves higher in record territory and the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed at a new all-time high. NASDAQ rose, now closing in positive territory for 2016. So it's been down all this time, first six months. Meanwhile, in Japan, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe ordered new stimulus after his coalition won an election in Japan's upper chamber by a landslide on Sunday. Trend alert! Trend alert! That's the way I see it. So what happened here? U.S. stocks closed higher Tuesday as fears eased over Brexit and Japan signaled more economic stimulus. The S&P moved higher in record territory, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed at a new all-time high. NASDAQ rose, now closing in positive territory for 2016. So it's been down all this time, first six months. Meanwhile, in Japan, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe ordered new stimulus after his coalition won an election in Japan's upper chamber by a landslide on Sunday. Trend alert! Trend alert! That's right. It's a day early, and there's a reason for it, because this is important. It's not Abenomics, folks. It's Ponzenomics and central banks to crash the markets. That's your trend alert. History before it happens. This is one big scam. The markets are going up. They're telling us because of more stimulus, which means that, and continued low interest rates, which means that they'll be able to keep rigging the markets and have the gamblers gambling. U.S. oil settles up 4.56% after two-month lows because their anticipation of data later on Tuesday would show an eighth straight week of declines in U.S. crude stockpiles. And that also boosted the markets. But that was the news before the numbers actually came out. And you know what the numbers say? Well, guess what? Oil falls as supply says... API data show U.S. crude supply up 2.2 million. Hi, this is Gerald Salenti. It's Tuesday, July 12, 2016. And here are some of today's trends in the news. Big day in the markets. Starting over there in Asia. Another good day for the Nikkei. Yes, yes, yes. You remember what happened that on Monday. It was way up following Sunday's vote of more Abenomics coming in. That's right. So Nikkei up, Shanghai up, Hang Sang up. Over there in Europe, CAC up, FTSE down. 
stacks up over here in the States. Woof. Up. Oil. Up. Gold down. Remember what I've been saying about gold. Again, I do not give financial advice. I said there's going to be a sell-off. And I believe it's going to be a sizable sell-off. It has the potential to be. And after this big sell-off, I think it's the beginning of the next gold bull run. But that's all. Because when you look at the real world, things aren't so rosy out there. Boom wanes in aircraft orders. Boeing, Airbus face slowdown in deals as economies weaken. Global economies are weakening. Aircraft deals at the start of this year have been slow as weakening economies and geopolitical woes from Latin America to the Middle East have caused bookings to dry up. And you know how I keep saying, it rots from the head down. Whether it's the military mindset of immorality brought to you by your commanders in chief, prime ministers and chancellors that go around the world slaughtering millions of people to carry out their sick mind dreams. And then you wonder why you have a million barrels. Oil futures fell in electronic trading Tuesday after the American Petroleum Institute reported that U.S. crude supplies unexpectedly rose by 2.2 million barrels for the week, ending July 8th. Now remember, oil went up on the anticipation that supplies would go down. So again, this is all manipulated. It's just playing the markets. We stick with our forecast. Oil between the 30 and $50 range. Too much supply, not enough demand. And gold slips more as stocks rally. Gold fell for the second straight day on Tuesday as global equities rallied on easing political uncertainty in Britain and hopes for more economic stimulus. Go back to your trend alert. This is not capitalism. There's no true price discovery anymore. The whole thing is rigged.